Hey folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Italy. This is the same game that we started, I think it was pre-release. There's still a lot of learning to do, but we are, uh, we are getting there. Um, I'm wondering about doing something different with these lines. In particular, I think I'm going to tell the purple group to no longer attack. They're going to really take quite a bit more of a defensive stance. I mean, I guess I could have left them with an offensive battle line, but told them to move more balanced. Which actually is probably the right thing to do. I would like it very much if they could uh, push up to around here, which will simplify our line quite a bit. So purple group, do what you can there. Gold group, um, I don't know if you can make the run to New York. What I think I'm going to do, is I'm going to delete the New York front line. I will tell you guys to try to push in um, just a little further. Like, yeah, maybe to Boston. Something kind of like that. And I do still have uh, a couple of them set to manually run out there. So they will try to beeline to Boston, which is great. Meanwhile, we do have some invasions going on over here. I think what I'm going to do... I moved some ships so that we had some vision because it was a bit of a complaint about that. These guys are actually having supply issues as is. So I'm actually going to cut this group in half. Take half of them and give them a new naval order to go from here to, let's say over here. I'm going to lock that in, uh, give you some sort of, yeah, high-skilled general to do that. And I'm going to tell these fellows to not, that's this, right? Not execute right away. The planning is still in place, so that progress hasn't been lost, but we really need, um, we need to need their supply to improve over here. Because I don't want them to attack with nothing going on, which probably means, okay, we do have naval bases set up for you. In Antu Island. Which is where? Oh, Antu Island, right over here. So it is top priority. So I think we're going to have to wait until a couple of levels of that get built. So that you actually have enough supply to plan this out. Uh, although, I think the... I was calling this Vancouver Island. I realize this is Vancouver Island here. Whatever this is. Haida Gwe. We're still going to do that one which is this group over here, because they are properly supplied, which is good. And you are needing a presence in these two seas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a destroyer group or something. Uh, we're still doing some naval invasions over here. Maybe you. There you go. You, over here. We are going to give you a new order. You are going to be based out of here. And you'll be on, con uh, yeah, sure, convoy escort here and here. That should give us the intel we need to move forward. I also want to restructure things over here. Uh, this pair of marines, why don't you do a naval invasion from here to, I don't know if you can take Manila. If we take this, this is a victory point, which means it should provide a little bit of supply. Or maybe even here, tell you what, we'll do that. We'll lock you into that, and then I notice with the China group, we've got two groups of red over here. I'm going to relabel you as, say, green. And a naval invasion. Now, these are not marines, so they wouldn't be terribly good at it, but I'm going to send you further north to, say, there. And that'll probably do fine. And meanwhile, then I have this remaining red group over here, who has, actually, that was just a right-click command to go over there. Um, I think... Well, that's okay. Just try to finish that if you can, and that's going to be okay. All right, meanwhile, over here, we've got a presence, which is good. How's the air stuff going on? Oh, we've got some unassigned airplanes. I'm not holding shift here. Oh, it's ro Ooh, that's actually a much handier way to assign rockets. Okay, uh, day and night. Yeah, rocket the hell out of this area. That's going to be fine. Uh, I think we're still building up air bases over here. Um, I think we might still be building up marine bases as well. Naval bases, yeah to get some supply. I probably shouldn't over-push it. Actually, I should probably let the supply bases get built and consider that to be good enough. How's our training coming along? You guys actually are good on equipment. You're still pretty green. I think I could try building... No yeah, I don't quite have enough tanks. So I don't want that. I'll just tell it to do one boost. Uh, looks like our coups are coming together, which is nice. We're going to prioritize reinforcements after the coups, more than building new stuff. I think all the air wings that are left are just old rockets, which apparently can't be moved or anything. I don't think we need quite this many people hanging around Great Britain. I mean, there's not a ton of them. 
Are these mine? Oh, they are mine. I have some marines over here that aren't assigned to any sort of invasion. I wonder. Could I... Let's move you to NA Day. Could I, with you, do a marine invasion from, say, here... I should get some paratroopers in again. Um... But where's the, where's the naval base? Is it there? Hold on. Let me get back to you a second. Because it looked from the graphics, it looked like it might have only, almost been in this province, but no. I mean, obviously Boston must have had one, but I wasn't sure if there was two. I will see if we might not be able to do a little sneaky, sneaky Bostonian thing. Um, also, I have some more Marines over here. I'm going to steal a couple more. Split you off. Get a naval invasion from here, and see if we can't steal New York. Wouldn't surprise me if they were defended. Also wouldn't surprise me if um, the naval situation was poor. Although we do still have some ships out. And do we have air cover over here? We do. You got range penalty and, and the storm as well. But we do have some anti-bomber stuff going day and night to hopefully protect our ships. So that this might work out. A slew of these little naval invasions. We got some port strikes going on over there, which isn't pretty. That's still eastern Canada, which is like hard as hell to cover. Um, yeah, paratroopers. That is an idea. And we should have the equipment for it. Like, why don't I go and thin out a little bit of the Parisian forces over here? Let's grab a five-pack. Make you into a new group. Put you down here at the Pacific... Uh, not the Pacific Marines. NA Day. And... Oh, yeah, that's right. You got color sliders. There you go. You are going to be rebuilt as paratroopers. We have enough goods for that. You are going to be green, which I don't appreciate, but might not be too bad. I don't know where my transports are. I still don't like this mechanic, but I guess if I hit this button... No paratroopers in the command group? That's not true. Do you need, do you need time to process that? No paratroopers in the command group, but they're all paratroopers. That seems odd to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you that this is your garrison area, and I will get you to exercise a little bit. Oh, there we go. Now it works. So if I hit that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll show me if I have any transports, and I guess I must not. I must have disbanded them last time. So that should mean that over here, assuming there's any room in this airport, and there is a little bit, I should be able to find my transports, and there they are. We've got a ton of them probably still building them. I should stop building transports. Oh, it's only building them one at a time. One per month. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So we've got you, which means now this paratrooper division, I can tell you, you're going to paradrop from here, and it still didn't highlight, to... Oh, you don't have the range. Really? To here. Stop exercise. It'll take them a long time to get over here. But we'll see if we can't ninja that. Okay. Meanwhile, we have landings here, there, which, uh, right, that one is halted until we can get our stuff up. You're still being attritioned. Really? Yeah, the naval bases are insufficient over here. But they're okay over here, and this is just another level one. There might be too many boats assigned over here. There are quite a bit of ships assigned over here, which is a little bit worrisome. You guys don't actually have any commands. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Ooh, and something is moving. Oh, no, there is someone who's got a command from here. Okay, no, no, you've got an invasion. And you're preparing. Okay. And this is the one where they've got no fuel. And this one here is making the big move to not Vancouver Island. All right, which is fine. Okay. So, yeah, we'll wait for some supply to reach over there. Hopefully, that'll be okay. And then we've got nukes still being built. Uh, really, can we not take this? Tell everyone to just, like, assist in this attack. There we go. Just because it'll simplify this line a bit. But again, I'm going to tell these guys, I'm actually going to bring down my tanks a bit for balanced, and over here balanced as well. We're going to be a little bit more chillaxed about it. I don't want to overextend until we get our supply fixed. Although, our overextension will be kind of YOLO marine missions, plus the paratroopers, I suppose. Paratroopers are still going to take a while to assemble. Which is all good and fine. Meanwhile, over here, we're waiting for that invasion to come. Let's go up to speed three. we got some naval battles over here. 
We are sinking enemy convoys. Very nice. Always confusing with, um, I'm assuming this is Mexico over here, because it's like the colors are kind of similar and they both have a symbol in the middle. I'm like, oh, did I just lose some stuff? No, no, it's okay. You. So you're going to go in five days. You're okay on supply. And you, yeah, you're just totally drained. You're getting attritioned. You got a lot of attrition. You don't have any organization as a result of it. You're still on the level one in Atu Island. We do have that queued up. 11th of October before we get any more. Yeah, it's probably because we've got a lot of ships operating out of there. All right, well, that's okay. Push comes to shove. We can have them just wait, and we can maybe reinvade from over here. What's the naval base? Only level one. Uh, and is this... What's the sea zone? This one here. So it's still only level one. Yeah. So we may want to build up some more bases. What about an anchorage? Level one. Okay. Good to know. All right. That's all good. Oh, we could actually build an air base here, maybe. Or maybe on land. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can probably take that pretty quickly afterwards. And this is the one where we're going to want to build the real naval base. But I guess the air base could more or less be anywhere. We'll see how it goes. Okay. How are we doing over there? We did push there, which is great. Uh, can we? I'm not sure that we can. I don't want to overextend. No. It looks like that's probably a no-go there. As our moves to the south. Uh, okay, we're defending successfully, which is good. And yeah, we're getting some supply problems, so I don't want to over-push. I wonder if I should just merge these two together and just have a defensive line. You know, tanks plus infantry. I know, this way I can still, I can still respond with tanks. Speaking of tanks, some of these are, um, still, yeah, still not, um, all modern tank divisions. Not that we have the extra modern tanks. Man, we're shy on them. We're trying to produce a lot, but actually we're currently using them up. Got some resistance to occupation. Fair enough. How are my paratroopers? Are, you're still here. How come you're not... Are you waiting for convoys? Do we not have enough intel along the way? It's all green. Should have complete cover. Okay, they must just be waiting for something for them to all get in place and they'll ferry across. And then from here, they'll do the airdrop. I shouldn't have to hit play. I, I, really, I honestly don't understand why they're just sitting around. Now, you guys have missions, right? These subs don't. So I'm going to put them on convoy raiding along the American coast. Here, here, and here. Yeah, I'm actually confused. Anyway, I'm going to cancel your orders. You're at a base, a naval base, so I should be able to right-click on another naval base, and you should just go. There you go. That was... odd. Maybe I didn't lock in their command... No, I think I did. Oh, I might be getting confused. Maybe I didn't do the airdrop command. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe something else happened. Meanwhile, my naval invasions, my marine invasions, I think... Then I have a second one going over here. So something failed. This one's still getting in position. So there is still some air assault going on. Oh, there we go. Convoy's lost. That's probably... Yeah, I think um, one of our marine landings just got lost over there. So yeah, we're still going to be kind of chill over here. Supply is actually stable now, which is good. Eh, there's a little bit of skulls, but not much. <sighs> That's really well defended. This is all foresty, very mountainous. Actually, I'm wondering if we might be able to... I don't know, it looks like a no over there. Pushing's going to be hard. I think most of our progress is actually going to come from the west over here. So you guys are moving, which is great. You guys... And these are the ones that are actually supposed to land in Anchorage proper. Um, but you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and tell you to go. And the reason is, these guys are going to be landing next to Anchorage. And they won't have a supply, but they'll be able to assist in the attack. And I think between the two, we're going to be okay. Meanwhile, you guys are very slowly approaching there. And it looks like we haven't been touched, which is nice. They've got all... Everything they're doing is, is concentrated on this side. We're losing some convoys over here, which ain't great. Although, we didn't lose... The other marine invasion is still moving. And you guys are still coming across over here. So hopefully that's okay. Can we get stats about naval supremacy 100%? 100%? 100%. But that doesn't count the bombers that suddenly show up. 
<gasps> we got our coups. Oh, did they all go at the same time? Oh, cripe. Okay, whoa. Venezuela joins the Axis. How big is Venezuela? Not very, is the answer. Peru's Axis. Oh, one of our aces got destroyed. So I don't expect much to happen down there, but again, if it can prove a little bit of abstraction, that'll be okay. Alright, so we're holding the line. We're not holding the line over here. Nor are we punching through over here, although the tanks aren't really moving. These guys have no organization. Need the other guys to move in. I might actually start to pull back here. Last thing I want is to get pushed back. Ooh, that is, yeah, quite the retreat happening there. Very retreat. Very ungood. Alright, I'm going to add gold group to the purple. Give you a field marshal. Tell you to halt your current things, and then hopefully you'll redeploy to pick up the weaker spots. But we could get overrun very quickly. They've got some light tanks or something going on over here. Which is a little bit terrifying. Oh, the other Marines did get blown up as well. And you guys are still just arriving. Okay. Oh yeah, see, I don't like that. Because that could be a cutoff. This defense should be okay. Yeah, definitely get in here. Um, fall back. Yeah, we could get a big overrun here. Big overrun. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do not like that. All right, how are we doing in the West? Oh, you've completed that. Good. Uh, we are going to split you in half, make a new one, just because I want you to be a little smaller and therefore faster, and you're going to land there. What are you talking about? No divisions. Oh, because you still had your old orders. Hold on. Let's try this again. You there. You're going to land there. Lock you in. Hit play whenever you get a chance. Meanwhile, that worked. We're just waiting for that naval invasion to get started. Looks like we landed on someone, and that worked out perfectly fine. I could actually probably start this right away. Oh, yeah, indeed, I very much can. So as soon as we complete that landing, then I'll move everyone else in there, and that's going to be happy as well. Let's take a look at the Philippines. Uh, completing that landing. Here we can't really attack, although I think what I'm going to do is grab that airfield. Um, yeah, which is going to be good and could hurt these guys. This red group, I don't think they've got orders. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna right click and send you up over here. And call that good. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid we're gonna lose our position in the east. The eastern US here. Pull back. Pull back. I'm gonna play this super safe and then just set up sort of a bit of a bridge here. Or. Uh, yeah, see? I don't agree with your commands at all. In fact, you're just going to lead to things getting overrun. There you go. Hold that for a little bit. Venezuela was annexed. Okay, so that was the, the fascist Venezuela, that coup. And you guys are still moving. Hell, I guess I could get you to airdrop from over here. No, this is fine. Keep moving that way. Fall back to here. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that's um, that's very scary. Okay, we haven't we haven't had anyone overrun yet, but this right here, this is going to be really bad. So I'm going to take some of you. Tell you to do the, oh no, that's going to get you overrun. Oh, there we go. Look at this massive overruns. Holy crap! That counterattack came out of nowhere to obliterate pretty pretty badly. back to here. Oh, you're moving up. Don't 
do that. Keep this position. We need to make sure that doesn't fall. And these guys are pulling back to there, which is going to hopefully be okay. All right. Um, science. I don't think we've got anything to science. Again, we're basically done all this. I think maybe I'll go and grab um, some rocket artillery. Maybe, you know, the extra soft attack actually would be very useful. It's possible. Losing some convoys here, which might be part of what's hurting our resources. Okay, that's being held, which is good. There's probably going to be too many people just in this little clump. Now, over here in Nova Scotia, this is one of the places where I think we're building a naval base to the max. And we are, which is good. So we'll still be able to get some supplies in. And let's get the um, infrastructure building up as well. And this is in the Newfoundland air zone where we do have some, some fighters, which is hopefully going to be okay. Distance, Nova Scotia. Yeah. Actually, this is Eastern Canada. Not Newfoundland is the sea zone, actually. Free military factories is not actually there, by the way. We can see here we've got tons of damaged ones. So that's all that is, is more damaged factories. In fact, I think what I might do, since we do need more tanks, i take this one and move it right up to the top over here. It's going to steal some factories from something else, but we are a little bit short on tanks. Okay. Airdrops in place. They are green. But we're going to try to see if we can't snag Boston by doing that. Now, there's a good, a good chance they'll get shot down, but we'll give them a try. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the west, where things should be a lot better. There we go. That's pretty good. And these two groups, I'm going to put, I guess, both teal groups together over here. And halt your current commands. That's going to be fine. I guess I should probably... Is that not a zone you can go into? Oh, it's all the same. Okay. We're going to do that. I'm going to take one of you and tell you to go south over here just to just to clean this up. There's a victory point over there as well we can grab. And that's going to be okay. Some ships moving around, which is good and groovy. And you guys are going there. And again, as soon as um, the golden group goes, which is in six more days, we should be able to get a good beachhead over there and an alternative way to push. This has definitely not been great. In fact, we're going to lose some more territory over here. Wow. But now they'll only be able to attack from one zone. So it'll probably be halfway okay. And you guys are preparing for your airdrop. Oh, you just went. And Boston was well defended, so you're all going to die. Amazing. Well, that's great. I'm going to build all you guys. And we are going to assign you to something. And ignore the Marines. Those are Marines that got pushed back earlier from something else. Oh, there's a lot of you. So you guys are going to get part of a new NA day. And you're going to be set to garrison here and here. Make your way over there. And I'll give you a lower rank general to do that with. So we should be able to keep holding this. So we still have this beachhead, although retaking it's going to be quite tricky. Um, well, apparently they're going to try pushing forward a wee bit, which I guess is okay, as long as they don't overextend too much. Meanwhile, over here, over there. Oh, and over here, you guys. Let's see if you can't run down that way. That would be really helpful, actually. And some Marines got pushed back, and that's okay. And you guys are going to try to push forward here. You're a little bit attritioning, but these guys are going to be much, much worse. Since they actually shouldn't be able to get any supplies whatsoever. Oh, what I should do is grab just one of these guys and go and grab that airfield over there. There we go. Much better. Oh, and we've landed. So I'm going to get you guys to join that front of ten people. There's a bit of a counterattack here, but it's obviously going to fail. And then what I'll do is send a couple of dudes up. Or maybe just one dude up. There we go. I'm going to send... Actually, I'm going to send everyone to go down to um, to Seattle. And I'm going to send one guy upwards to connect here. A little bit easier and faster. And yeah, we can just ignore Vancouver Island. There's nothing... No naval bases or anything on there. Um, but speaking of naval bases, we are going to want to max that out. And again, put that quite up to the top. 
because we're going to need more supplies over here if we're going to land more troops. How's it looking over here? All right, not bad, actually. Not too shabby at all. It's set to be relatively cautious. We've got a missile just hanging in midair over here. That's very exciting. A rocket, I should say. Losing some stuff. And yeah, we'll just hold this for now. If we do have uh, the presence in the west, it'll actually divert some guys over there. Uh, let's get some more resource gaining over here, which is going to be fine. And in fact, I think it already has. Cancel that. Do this. Do that. And then maybe push from a couple of sides over here. So we have thrown away some troops for no good reason. We do have a lot of manpower. We have a lot of um, infantry equipment. We really could build a lot more infantry. But I'm not sure that that's really going to help with anything at this time. Well, they were attacking into us there. I mean, it's still mountain. Which means it isn't very good for them to do that. I really want to clean this up so I don't have to worry about anything weird happening. Brazil, Integralist Brazil, so, no faction. I mean, it could go back and boost the fascists again. I may as well, I've got nothing else to do with my political power right now, so, what the hell, right? You're in the Allies, which is no good. Cruise in the Axis. You are fascist, but not in our faction. Are you still, oh yeah, you're still in a uh, civil war over here. Yeah, I'll start boosting party popularity, just in case the Argentine Republic wins. We'll boost that up. I may as well keep doing that a whole bunch. Okay. Meanwhile. I guess we'll do that. I think they've probably sent a bunch of troops west again. Which is really good for me. Opening up the second front is going to be super mega helpful. Alright, you guys are doing that. And you're still pushing over there, and those guys are probably running away. Although, I will grab one of you and help out with something like that. Because then we won't have to guard that front at all anymore. There we go. Mop that and keep pushing. It's going to be a long, long front to hold. Maybe impossibly so. So what do we have over here? This, oh yeah, this group that was just chilling in China. Congratulations. You are going to be added to that, which is going to require Field Marshal. Ooh, level 5 Field Marshal. Very nice. Excellent. And then you guys are guarding that, which I guess is fine, and that. But do we really need this many? Especially, these are actually some pretty damn good infantry over here. So I'm going to grab a bunch of you... And again, add you over here. Looks like you should be able to reinforce here pretty safely, actually, which is nice to see. Uh, that is our next level of tactical fighter. And we can go and get some jet tactical fighters as well. Because why not? You're going to keep pushing down there, although maybe not successfully. These guys are still moving here quite slowly because of the poor infrastructure. Why don't you go, actually... You're retreating? Oh! Yes, you are. Or you would be. We've got to go and win that first, which is about to happen. Come on. Tick, tick, tick. There. Go and bop that for me. Thank you very much. Alright. Guys in place here. There you go. Push that back. That'll clean up this border a little bit. So that push is going to be halted. The question is, will there be any counter pushing? Because that would be nice to avoid. And again, we might want to wait until we've got some more naval bases in place. Meanwhile, how are we looking here? Uh, looks like we didn't actually successfully push there. Which, yeah, is kind of surprising. Well, we'll reclaim this. Yeah, they must have pulled back. I mean, it could be the stuff in South America as well. Like, there's a lot of stuff that could be causing them to do things. 
to gain opposition, part of the allies, right, right, right. There's a lot of stuff that can be doing that. Wow, that is slow moving when there's no supply. Oh, did you stop that? I guess probably because you... Your attack got halted. And moving into enemy territory, I suppose, when there's no infrastructure is part of that, too. And yeah, they are building up over here. So, you guys have no specific attack command, which I think is good. Just reinforce along this line. It's going to be fine. Let me actually clean up the um, automated commands over here. Gold group, your front is yeah, all along here. Distribute accordingly. Teal group has no commands at this time, other than what I manually gave them, which is going to be plenty good enough. And again, we still don't have any actual functional factories to allocate at all. It is deceptive. Tank production is starting to go up, but we're still low on modern tanks. That was really what our next push is going to really want, is more proper tankage. And yeah, we're going to build up the naval base over here. Failing to push in there. That's really annoying. Is this considered mountain? Hills. Hills and the snow. Well, we can get a four-person squad over here to get maximum uh, combat width. I'm gonna split off one of you. The other one's still going over there, slowly but surely. Meanwhile, we have reclaimed some bits over here, which I think is going to be good. And again, if we don't push too aggressively... Ooh, actually, let's see if we can't um, grab this river location. Then we'll get the dig in, and they won't be able to push back against us at all. So we'll just hold that for a little while. Could build a naval base or even an air base over here, which may help some of our pushes. We'll see. But this should force them to keep a good number of troops over here and prevent them from just being able to easily take um, retake this over here, which I don't expect they'd be able to do easily regardless. Holy crap, how long does it take to move over here? Jesus. You, more Marines, I'm just going to tell you to... Probably try another naval invasion. I'm going to get you to join the gold group over here, but then we'll split some of you off. And maybe do a naval invasion down on the west coast, actually. You guys are slowly moving over, which is going to be good and fine. All right. Okay, well, this was almost a disaster. Um, expeditionary forces. One whole one. And actually, we've got some more here, too. These are coming from Japan, so I think the easiest thing to do will be to tell you to group up over here. Nothing weird. Like, we've got everything... Uh, we don't have the Philippines yet. This group here is going to do that. Oh, we got pushed back over there. Yes, we did. Um, actually, why don't you halt? And you halt as well. These guys can attack here instead. That'll be much easier. All right, we do have to put a cut in here. Um, but, yeah, yeah, there we go. And we got some troops that did not quite make it in there. Um, or... Here we got some more people moving. Um, and here... I'm going to throw you all into Canada, I think, is what I'm going to do. Find your way over here. How is our infrastructure construction over here? Because I think we're going to need some, let's say, moving south. This is not particularly important to infrastructure up. So never mind. Once we take a little bit more territory here, we'll probably want to develop the infrastructure if we're using this port here as our primary ingress into Western North America, which I think is going to be the case. Uh, looks like that. I don't know. And some of these guys stop sort of contributing. Be nice if they could do that. I really got to put a cut in here. I guess I'll do that now. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.